as a stock and we're down here we're running and I'm doing this sort of mat video for everyone but we've watched this we've watched this big five inch for a long time and here's sort of what I've come up with as the best mat configuration for my dredge again your own equipment is your own equipment so what I've got is is I've got bedrock down at the end I've got a group of how am I gonna shoot this I got bedrock here I've got Razorback up here, then I've got Scrubber, and then I've got River Hog. I've got Tall River Hog up at the top, and then I cut down the River Hog, and what I'm doing is, is I'm dealing with this real turbulent area with that high River Hog. Then I'm going to Scrubber, which is my next aggressive map. Then I'm going to Razorback, which is my next least aggressive. And then I'm going down to this Bedrock, which is a real high speed finisher. So that's the best configuration that we've tested so far on this dredge. Again, using that river hog, that tall river hog, to battle that real turbulence up here and then fight it down. But we're finding a lot of gold up top. Normally I would find a lot down here too, but I'm not fine. I'm just finding real finds down here, and that's what I want to see. So this is a great configuration. The red's getting ready to go dredge. Doesn't he look pretty? So. We're going to run this and we'll show you some of the gold. We just did a test run 30 minutes and we saw gold in the map, so we're going to keep running. Alright, so I'm about to walk over to the dredge and you're not going to be able to hear me talk, but what I want you to look for is traditionally when you get up in these big dredges, you've got these big monster riffles and you get just loaded up with all kinds of rocks and you're having to battle that constantly and that's sort of the whole principle of our matting is it's very low profile, it's an exchange process, and you'll see all these big rocks just tumbling down the mat. They're gonna be tumbling down the mat, tumbling down the mat, and the gold is settling and being processed with the black sand. So I just want you to sort of think about that while I shoot this. But you can see all the big rocks are just tumbling over them. pieces of gold. Hey, if I see some 100s come through on a 5 inch blasting over a river hog, yeah, I'm okay with it a little bit. Maybe one or two little pieces. But it's just good confidence building. Now, now I get to pan it all down. Alright, 
so I took that uh, the tailings over here, panned them down. There's about two or three gallons. We, you can only hold that tub on there for about 45 seconds to a minute at a time. You'll end up having about two or three gallons of uh, tailings. And you end up having about half a cup of black sand from that. That shows you how much you're exchanging out. Half a cup every minute, at least. But I pan it down real carefully. I mean, because I want to know. And I'm not seeing any losses. And I know he's on bedrock, so. But I don't know if you can see this, but. But I'm going through here and I'm checking for any losses whatsoever. I mean, even 100s, 150s. I mean, I want to know if there's anything getting out, I want to know it. So, I mean, I'm going down to super fine black sand and looking for any single dots. Nothing so far, that's good. Hey guys, sorry for the noise, but um, I figured I'd show you a couple tips. Um, but before I do that, I want to show you Joe's over here. We found a pretty decent little area. Uh, you can see him floundering around over in here now. But he's pretty deep. I mean, <laughs> you can see nothing but feet over there. But one thing I wanted to talk to you about real quick is, is how we run this. He's on some really, really hard, hard, hard pack. And so what I do is I've got the motors turned way up. This thing's really screaming material. And what we do is we use this uh, air, air compressor to change the pitch on our machine. So we'll go back and forth with that air compressor to actually change the pitch. So if I'm running real high volume with water, I'll move it forward and have a little bit less pitch on the unit. If I'm running lower, I'll move it back and I'll have a little more pitch on it. So I wanted to show you that real quick. I wanted to show you the rocks. You're not going to be able to hear me, but I want to show you the rocks we're putting through. just dove and did about a 30 minute test run on this spot. Got the dredge, the five inch over here. And we're working this area we've worked, we've worked this spot so many times, but there's these huge boulders in here. And that's what we're doing. But I want to show you something real quick. Again, this just when you hit a good spot, you hit a good spot. But here's what I want to show you. So here's the amount of cons this is the amount of cons from the five inch dredge, okay? It ends up being about a gallon. So I took this corner and then I panned it out. And I wanna show you this, this is really cool. I wanna show you this wire goal here. I don't know if I can get it or not. But this is really cool here. This, there's a bunch of wire gold in here and it's so neat looking. But again, I'm finding, I'm, I'm getting 100s, 150s, tons of fines, 200s. I mean, I'm seeing tiny, tiny, tiny gold in here. Again, I'm seeing tiny, tiny stuff. You can start to see them in here, maybe. I have to get in the shade. But this is really cool. I love finding this wire gold. Look at that piece right there. That is so cool. Again, this is just one little handful out of this, out of that whole thing. Pretty good run.